Okay, so welcome everybody so much. Today is February 20th, 2018, and today, Team Money Makers meeting. Say hi, everybody that's on camera. Uh, we are going over Facebook parties and how to host one for your Avon business. Um, I know this has been a really big thing across the board in all direct selling where people are really jumping on, on the bandwagon instead of having these home parties, we're doing Facebook parties. Uh, we have team member Leanne Davis Murphy with us today. Also, she's waving in the corner there. She has been very successful at hosting uh, Facebook parties. So she too will be sharing with us today. So thank you again, Leanne, for your uh, expertise today. Um, I put together some slides as well that we will be sharing and then we will go into Leanne's ideas and unmute Leanne as well. So uh, let me get the uh, screen sharing going and pull up the presentation and screen share. I've got a million things on my screen. All right, give me one second to get it into slideshow mode. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started here so you guys can see the screen. Everybody give me a thumbs up if the screen is up and good. All right, wanna make sure we're not just talking. Um, some of these slides are from the Southeast Shares meeting. There was some really great information shared there. So as you know, hosting a Facebook party can be a lot of fun. You can do it in your pajamas, so can your guests. And it's a great way to expand your circle and set up and manage from anywhere in the US. There's no inventory or books needed. Build your sales, build your clients can potentially help you build team members, repeat party, repeat sales as well. So it's a great way to do something a little bit different in your business and uh, profit well from it and both ways, in both your sales, growing your team members as well. So the way the Southeast Shares uh, was sharing this, and I wish I could remember the rep that was sharing, but she had some great information, is it's a cycle. So of course you're gonna start with your hostesses and finding hostesses. My tip on that is that if you don't have a hostess yet, you could always do a mystery hostess party in which you set up the event, you invite your friends, and one word's the wise with that, if you're going to be sending out invitations to something like that, it might be something that you don't wanna just you could do the invites and let people add, but don't make the mistake of just adding people into something without them asking. An invite is fine. Um, so I would say invite as many people as you can if you're doing a mystery hostess. That means at the end of the party, you're gonna draw one person that will earn all the rewards from the party. Um, if you can get hostesses, we'll talk about that in a minute, but mystery hostess is a great way to start if you don't know where to begin. Then you will have your event, you will do your posts, have the party, and then your follow-up. So this is the method to the madness in five easy steps. You will give your hostess a packet that will include your guidelines, reward, and timeline. So um, this is something that you can make up very simply. You can send it via Facebook. You can mail it out if you want to. Entirely up to you on how you wanna do it. We've got some ideas here at the back end of the party we will show you. Um, you're going to be coaching that hostess that you're working with on how to invite her guests. So you'll make sure that that is available. And I do see questions coming up in the chat. No worries, I will make sure I check those in a moment. And engagement uh, with uh, the party. You wanna make sure the hostess that you're coaching that she is very active in the party, the night of the party, and maybe even throughout the week that she is coming into that party place and you know posting as well to keep things moving. You're gonna create your event. We're gonna show you how to do that with Leanne here shortly. It's good to put it as private to protect your new potential customers or teammates um, and help them feel at ease at posting and commenting without the whole public world seeing that. Um, you can do Google Forms. This was a great suggestion from this uh, Southeast Shares meeting. She does a Google Form um, in order to have all the guests fill it out so she can get their address, their email, all the information uh, to collect guest info. She even puts questions like interested in hosting a party, interested in more information about becoming an Avon representative, and so on and so forth to get that information. Google Forms are free, check it out on Google, and it's something you can pop right into your party. Let me check questions here. Um, okay, got a sale for my dad, neighbor, awesome. Okay, just making sure it wasn't uh, pertinent to Leanne. Okay, um, introduction. So you always want to, in the event itself, introduce yourself. I think it's great if you're brave enough to do a quick 
live stream in that event page. Just a quick, hi, my name is Lisa with Avon. I've been selling for 17 years and we have our hostess, your friend so-and-so, who is hosting this great party. I just wanted to come on and introduce myself. Blah, 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 we're gonna have a good time. The party actually begins on such and such. Uh, we're gonna be doing this, 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 make sure, you know, and you're gonna do like a great little introduction, very energetic, very fun. Um, if you're too shy to do that, you could post your picture and a little bio about yourself and how you know the guest. Um, I think the live is better, that way anybody that is popping into that group um, throughout the week can see your little video and it feels more personal. You know, if the hostess wants to do that too and pop in and say hi to her guests, she can. She can hit that live thing or record a little something and pop in with a video. Um, so do that and that kind of really um, makes that connection with your guests. Okay, so event. And then very important, if you are keeping your party open for about seven days, that's usually five to seven days and then there's an actual event time. So the party is created it's open for about seven days. Then you have the one night that you're doing the party. And I suggest as well as on Southeast shares, no more than an hour. It should be about 45 minutes. Uh, you want to honor your guests time. And you also throughout the week do not want to be posting in that event page more than two to three times a day. Um, the suggestion I was given from the Southeast shares was do one educational, a fun one, and one product uh, highlight or sale. Okay, so don't spam your guests. Engagement posts for interaction, and you're not, this was surprising to me, she said you're not fishing and begging for orders throughout the party or throughout the week prior. Reason being is you want the guests to be comfortable and you want them to be having a good time. Um, you're going to be doing follow-up to collect those orders. And of course, if they order early, then you may have points and things like that that go along with the party. But you don't want to be like, head on over to my store now and place your order for points. Because if they leave the party, where are they? They're not paying attention to you and what you're doing. They're off on your e-store placing an order. So wait until the party's order for people to go place their orders or for you to follow up. And let's talk about the follow up. So again, timing, keep it short. Guest time valuable, game, you're gonna choose ways to interact but drive the online store traffic and you're gonna choose prizes that are fun and affordable as you're doing little raffles throughout the party. Um, it could be a footworks product, it could be uh, a bubble bath, something that's gonna be affordable that you're gonna be able to um, tack onto their order so that it ships straight to them. Now here's how the follow-up works, as I said. You're gonna message the guests whether they ordered or not and you're gonna see who wants to earn free Avon by either hosting their own party um, or maybe they're interested in becoming representative. The orders, you're gonna process the orders collected and invoiced prior to completing. So thank any guests that ordered online during the party, but you're gonna be able to collect all that information and process those orders. Um, hostess follow up with her last and advisor of her, earn, her winnings from the party um, and collect her order and notify of her when to expect her order and her hostess rewards as well. We'll get more into that in a little bit. Like I said, these are quick meetings, so we have to be quick, quick, quick. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like, oh my God, she went so fast, I could, you can always pause this and go back and watch it, but we have to be quick because these Zoom meetings time us out after 30, 40 minutes and then it's over. So I gotta get, get the information in, and then if we have time after, we can come back for questions. So write your stuff down and then come back. So again, the formula, hostess, find your hostesses or mystery hostess, host your event, get it set up, begin doing your posts, have the actual party. So the posts that are happening ahead of time are the teasers, are, are getting people excited about the party night, uh, reminding them of the party night to show up because everybody's working throughout the week. They don't have time to just be in your party and waiting and waiting and waiting. They also don't have time the night of the party to be there for several hours. It needs to be 45 minutes, no longer than an hour of fun, jam-packed information, uh, keep it moving, and then of course, do your follow-up, okay? Um, so now, I just wanted to show you what I have on my, this is from lisamonison.com, about hosting a virtual party. Now remember, when you're doing these, you may have different guidelines of how you feel a party is. Some people say that their qualified party is at 200. Mine is guest sales of at least 150 qualifies them for a qualified party, um, earns them anywhere from 15 to $200 in free Avon, depending on where their sales are. 
They get special demo offers for hostesses only, discounted products, um, and this is just my little advertisement that I use on my page. And then I have my hostess rewards here. So um, chat squares are hiding this, so let me move that over here. So um, this just explains about hostess rewards and you know, I've got actually on here that it's a minimum of $100. So probably need to change that um, in my, my verbiage and just noticing that, that a qualified party is 150 to 200. And down below, you can see this is how I'm working the, the values of what they earn. And again, to each his own. I talked to another rep of ours, Julie, um, new has been doing parties. Um, I wish she could be on her because she's a great valuable resource as well as Leanne. Um, and she said that for every party booked, she gives $5 hostess credits uh, towards the guests, uh, towards that current hostess's uh, party. So for every person that says, I'll have a party. Now, for me, if I did get that, one thing that I would be uh, concerned with is a lot of people saying, I'll host a party, I'll host a party. You could have five people saying host a party, comes down to the party, they don't have the party. The way I would give those rewards would be after the party is hosted and held then they get the extra reward. So their gifts may not come until all the parties are completed and then they get their stuff. That's just how I personally would run it. Julie's not on to answer that question, but that's how if I was giving $5 credits for every party, that's how I would do it. Okay, so this is just an example here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and unmute Leanne and Leanne is going to, I'm gonna go through her slides of what she wants to share and um, we'll go with that. So thank you Lu Leanne for joining. I will uh, click through as you tell me to. So here is Leanne's first slide. Go for it, Leanne. Okay, so is there any way that I can show my Facebook page on here? Um, yeah, we can do that. Uh, I can share your screen. Let's see. You should be able to. Like you can click through, but I need to like physically. But anyways, while she's working on that, on the left-hand side of your Facebook down in Explorer and it looks just like this it says events and what you want to do is just click it um, as Lisa said that you can go to the next one okay yeah just let me know yeah we can yeah. do the actual live I figured I would share my screen but I gave you host uh, options if you need to share your screen right okay so here's the private where you select this this is I usually do private. I've only had two people that wanted to do a public. The only thing about a public is nobody, you as the person cannot see what the other people are seeing unless they click like or, you know, something like that. So it's really, it's a wavy thing. Um, after you click a private event, you'll see this page over here and this is where your event name's going to go just put online only or like in your jammies or on your phone or something like this your dates can only go for two weeks so i would only do it um one day prior to the event say right here it says january 9th so i would start it january 8th and then go from there and give a little description here I would just put, keep it simple, put like your um, website name and like a sign up name and how do people contact you. And then just say, see details below. So on the next one, this is the one that I did before. I did just a test event. Right here says um, the invite. You can click on it and after you click there it'll pop down and say do you want to share this link or something like that and what I do is I share the link on the hostess page and say come and join the party so that's like one thing that they can do and then they can click share from their page mm -hmm. and it all binds back to here perfect okay ready for the next slide yes and if you want to invite people, you just go to that same invite and you click all. If you want to do all, you want to do certain people and you hit send invites. It's super simple. Um, add your campaigns, whatever campaign you want to do. You can go on uh, Pinterest and look for albums, look for pictures. I've got all kinds on there. Mm -hmm. 
You just so, search Avon and, and everything yeah. will, stuff will come up there too. Mm -hmm. Everything will pop up pretty much. Um, there is like an Avon group that has flyers on there. You can ask to use theirs. Just mm -hmm. make sure you ask somebody to use it before you actually use it. Yeah. That's... Or you can, you can make your own personal one too. Absolutely. And it's Avon Flyers by Alicia. I hope she doesn't mind. We're on YouTube. She's public. You just got to be, you got to be an Avon rep to join it. So if you're watching this and you know the direct sales, she's going to ask you some questions before you join it. Um, that and also the new Avon Social, you could also download pictures on Avon Social and they're doing specific, like you can click on campaigns and click on what campaign you want. And there's beautiful pictures in there that you could use also. And then just make sure you have like a description for it. Also, I will oh. show you um, on Facebook, on our own team page, Team Moneymakers, if you go to photos and then albums, you can scroll to the next page. I have a whole album for Facebook parties. Some of the pictures are older, but it gives you an idea if there is some creating you want to do, but some of them are very generic. And so anybody could use them anytime. Okay. You ready for the next slide, Leanne? Sure. Okay. So here's your pictures that I do a roll call to see who's there. And then whoever at the end of the party clicks like under their name, I put their name in this little wheel. You can, it basically it's called the Rambert random picker app. And I just do party orders and then whoever it lands on like Dewana, that was my mom. She won a prize. So basically I would send her, um, maybe like one of these small lotions mm -hmm. or something like that. Also, um, when you're doing your parties and you want to take pictures of your samples, so make sure you have like your bucket of samples here. I have a shampoo, um, a lotion, just tell them about it, give them demos. Um, we did my daughter's legs the other day. So on this hair body removal stuff so you know just something simple if you're going to use this oil make sure that you let your customers know not to do it in the bathtub they will slip and fall and about kill themselves <laughs> but you know you gotta you gotta put out the warning okay right. i'm ready okay and just play play games have fun um add some videos and create your own just keep it simple and keep it fun and don't worry about, you know, who's going to order at the end. Because if you worry about them, then you'll you'll be all concerned about how much money you're going to get at the end of the party. Right. Just if and, and you know, if you're showing more uh, genuine and, you know, being there to have a good time. Yes, we're business people. Yes, we want the hostess to do well um, so that she, you know, maybe wants to host future parties or become a rep herself. Um, but if you are stressing about that, that's going to show through and shine through that all you're there mm -hmm. for is like orders, orders, orders. orders. If, so you need to be just have a good time. It's a party. People see that. They're also going to like from that, if you're like having a really good time, they may say, you know what? Not only do I want to have a party, but I'm kind of interested in maybe becoming an Avon rep. That was fun. You know, yeah, so you want it. Too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So have a good time with it. Um, let's see here. I think that is the end of our slides. But it I is. I figured now, uh, let me stop the share there and come back to the Brady Bunch um, squares. <laughs> um, no, let's let me leave that see. there. Okay, so the other thing I was going to share, did you have anything else to share before? I was going to actually go to and show them how to set up an event. Like a uh, I, No, I can show them if you want, oh, or it doesn't matter. Oh, can you see, can you see where you can share your screen? Um, let me see here. If not, I can share mine and then just click through like we did. Because I think uh, I've made you host. Share screen, yes. yes. Okay, and then hit share, and then you want to go ahead and show them uh, how to do that. Yeah, okay. We'll actually so. do a live demo, guys. Hi, wow, I'm learning all kinds of new things. <laughs> <laughs> I have people wanting to buy stuff on there. Okay. okay, so over here on the left side, right under explore, it'll say save an event. So you would click there. Click this big blue button. Can you guys see that? Yep. And then I'm going to do a private. It's real super simple. You can use their theme or you can upload one. Um, it's February, so let's do February birthday. And then your party will be all 
probably mysteries or all birthdays. Mm -hmm. And then you just do online or I, I do online. And then select your date and time and when it ends. Make sure you do a couple hours after you end your party mm -hmm. because you want to go back and say your host got so much. You know, your host did this and earned this much. So you just create your party event. And there it is. Real super simple. Um, invite, if you go over here on this little arrow down below, you can choose friends or invite by text and email. This is something new Facebook has already started. It's really easy. Yeah. So I'm going to do Bethany. She's my guinea pig. Every That's my daughter. <laughs> She'll be like, Mom, what are you doing now? <laughs> <laughs> and see how it pops up over here. You right. just send, in send right. invites. Right. And I think you've said that, you know, you wouldn't mind doing like a little test party just for us to jump in and like, you know, sure. see, how it, see how it is. And so she's got a past party here. Is that what you're pulling up now? Yeah, past that's just, yeah. my past party. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. This one is continuing. Um, it actually ended on February 18th. And I just put the Boost Glow and Restore right on top. Um, she was more interested in the vitamins and things like that and how they work. So I put her picture up there. Um, it says it's hosted by me, but down in the descriptions, make sure you say it's hosted, you know, your hostess is such and such. Right. Right, um, right now I am putting this party on hold because I'm having surgery on Thursday and I, I won't be able to function. Mm -hmm. um, but right here, just say thank you for having an online party, um, what is comfortable, you know, your internet and your weather, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is join the party from your phone or whatever. And then I always put my phone number down here. So if they can't get a hold of me on Facebook, then they can call me. Awesome. Let's see here. Um, I like this one, the introduce yourself like a boss. Usually I put I sleep like a boss and everybody laughs. Mm hmm yeah, um, fun, right? Yeah, just keep it fun, keep it simple. Um, I added a few videos. I kind of searched them out, and then uh, campaign six. I was putting on here. Happy Valentine's Day! Don't forget to do your holidays. Um, party points. If somebody does, this is actually on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. So you can go under party points on any direct sale, and then pick whatever you want. Down below, it said um, for 50 points, whoever gets a $50 order will get something free. Well, I didn't like that, so cut I just cut the page off. Cut it off, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You can customize. That's what's so great about this is you can just customize it to how, you know, if you don't like the way another person is doing their Facebook party, modify it. Make it, you know, make yeah. it to where it works for you. And you know what? It's all in you know, practice, you know, um, of how you're doing it. So it's saying we have about 10 minutes. You guys get the gist of this. Um, she's Is there any phone. questions or anything? I yeah. mean, I'd be willing to help. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're going to open for questions as well as I was going to show them the album real quick on our Facebook page. They know how to get to okay. that as well. So if you can um, give me screen share for just a minute, I'll show you guys where that is. I know a lot of you aren't really utilizing um, the albums mm -hmm. that we have. And if you're part of other groups and you're watching this on Facebook and you're in Campaign Connections or any of the other groups that are out there, um, make there sure, thank you so much, Leanne. Um, make sure let me that you are checking the group's album. So let me move this down here. So if I go, um, I'm in my Facebook, so let me move our chat squares because that's in the way okay so in regular Facebook so if you go to Facebook like this you go to your groups on the left so I'm gonna go to team money makers and again if you're watching this on Facebook and you're not a part of my private team you can't see this group but you can see the other one then you want to go over here on the left click on photos and then what a lot of people don't see is any video that's ever been posted in here or albums so this is just going to be like all the generic photos that have ever been put in here. But if you're like, well, I want to see an album, 
albums, Avon memes, Rep Fest 2018, the dream boards, flexible ordering, new kit enhancements. See, people think this is it. They're like, that's it? No, there's an arrow right here. Go to the next page. You got several pages. Here's a whole 122 pictures for you. Here's 10 photos for games. So um, orders do pictures. So look at this. These are all, so like if you don't like the one plan, here's another plan from something else. Um, and you just need to modify them to, to fit you, you know? Um, all kinds of stuff. The purse game, uh, virtual parties, you know, host a party. So any picture you want from the beginning. Here was something that was something, you know, it was an Avon party, but not necessarily a Facebook party. So that was Pampered Chef, but I was like, that's some good stuff. So make sure you're, uh, I mean, you never know what other people are doing, so it's good to kind of see. Mm -hmm. But there's a whole thing like this here. This is something that we don't have this stuff anymore. You know what I mean? Like as far as the clothes. But look how awesome this game is. You can go to Pizzap or another online editor, pick some pictures. They have the collages already there. Throw in the pictures that you want to put an outfit together and then play a game with it. So the party does take some prep. You want to have your pictures. I'm sure you do, Leanne, have like your pictures ready to go on your mm -hmm. desktop so you can just throw them in the party. And there's going to be a lot of repeat um, stuff that you're going to use. Like here, if you're, you know, contact me to book a Facebook party. So this is going to be, you know, an ad for you. Um, what did you see first? Bingo. I did a pillow fight at one of mine. It was so much fun. They had to get a picture pillow and we just were throwing them back and forth just in the comments. And now with gifts, people have the gifts, you could search pillow in gifts and be back and forth with pillow fights just this way now. You don't even have to do it the other way. Okay. <laughs> So um, just check out the albums. Like she said, utilize Pinterest, utilize what we have here in the group. Um, and you know, you can see I put even here, do you wanna host a party? It doesn't have to be a home at home. It could be on Facebook. I mean, you can, you can make funny memes, make it fun, make it fun. So we have about six minutes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stop screen share now and come back to our Brady Bunch squares. <laughs> and I'm going to check to see where are they now? Okay, if there's any questions there, and if anybody has any and needs me to unmute them, uh, you can raise your hand, or if you know how to unmute, unmute, and you can ask questions. So we are open for questions. Anybody? <laughs> there's Delana. <laughs> Delana's camera's I have a not working. Question. I just think that uh, Leanne, you did a really great job, Leanna. I guess um, you did a really great Thank job you. explaining that, and yes. um, good job, good job. Yes. And, Learned some things that I had not. Done. I haven't done a Facebook party, so I was paying close attention. I have a couple of team members who are interested, so um, thank you so much. Yes, she thank did. You. you did excellently, and thank you. And uh, Julie New just said, uh, "I make the hostess as a co-host when she does her parties, and that way, I guess it makes it easier for her to be able to invite people and whatnot. So she just puts them as a co-host, and she said, "Nice job, Leanna. Thank you for the new ideas." So. Everybody's liking it. Thank you so much. Anybody else questions? I see David unmuted. Did you have a question, David? Yeah, Leanna, do you have a? Uh, did you ever record any of your Facebook parties or anything? Am I unmuted? You are. You are. Yes. Okay. Um, no, I have never done it. But this is actually my first time speaking on like live. She did good. Oh. So um, when my son gets home, we could figure that out. <laughs> Yeah, you I know what? He's a computer nut. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering if you had like recorded one of them so we could go back and get an idea of like watch it live and see how it, you know, I'll re watch a recording of it to see how it goes. That way, I mean, I don't know. So you well, would just you know screen record it. Yeah. Can we do this, Lisa? Um, yeah. Tomorrow, invite everybody to a party and yeah. we can meet at like seven o'clock and then um, we, can, we, we can, can do, do a that. Facebook yeah, we can do that or we can do uh, maybe one of the next lunchtime chats. That's actually what we do. Yeah. Does that sound good to you guys? We'll that just sounds, have her hey, create. A lunch, yeah. Yeah. A lunchtime chat would be better for me because I work third shift, so 7 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. The week's I mean, we're, and, but we'll record it. <laughs> That'll be recorded, Leanne. That's and fun. so we can all pretend we're participating, be guests, okay? We're all mock guests, okay? <laughs> and we will make that a future lunchtime chat. So I will look at the schedule. And we'll put it on ahead and Leanne will be the host and I can be a co-host and we'll just 
you know, I'll be in there and we'll, it'll be recorded and I'll have the screen share. So we'll see everybody. We won't see all this. We'll see what's happening in the party. Okay. That'd so be awesome. That'll be fun. But now at least you guys have the format to start creating your own. Awesome. We'll do that. If, we will do if that. anybody wants to go ahead and learn one, I have done one for the team before. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm open to it. Just kind of get me before like Thursday or give yeah, me a week after Thursday. Praying your <laughs> surgery. I know she's having surgery. We all need to send our prayers to you. It all comes out okay. We'll be praying for your recovery. Um, any other I'll be laying in bed having <laughs> Facebook parties. <laughs> you probably will. I know you will. Um, anybody else with questions? Hi, Monica. Good to see your beautiful face, dear. Um, and I don't have a question, but I do have a comment. I want to send out all the love and support that we can to Australia and New Zealand with all those reps that are getting ready yes. to, to yes. that's, that's sad. Yes. And thank you for saying that anybody that's watching from those, uh, con those countries that are losing their business. We are, our hearts are with you guys. Absolutely. Um, sad situation. So Stephanie, did you have a question? We have about two minutes. Okay. Let me see if I can unmute you, hon. You're unmuted. Yeah. I was just going to talk about the point I had a few weeks ago. It's kind of stressful. I mean, my mom came, a couple of people watched on Facebook. I made a few bucks, but <laughs> No, because she really wanted the speed dry nail polish, but I couldn't find the price for it. Mm. I went on our website, I could not find it. Okay, but I'll now help you. we're going to have it in Kingpin 7 again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'll help you after the party. Message me, I'll help you look that up so we can make sure we can find it for you. But you know, I think with Facebook parties too, you may have a couple that are, are duds initially while you're learning the process. And I think over time, if you continue to do them and keep them on the regular, you're gonna get, it's just like doing anything, riding a bike. Um, mm -hmm. The first couple times might be a little bit like, ooh, that wasn't all the, the greatest, you know? But um, if you stick with it, and again, um, I think keeping the time of the actual party to you know a short time, is best yeah. because you don't want to make it so long that people are like, when is this thing in? You know, you, you got to keep it moving, keep yeah. it moving, keep it fun. So um, we have only about a minute left. So any other questions? Let's see. Okay, reading it there. there. You got like what you said, Ben. That's cute. All right. Anybody else before we say goodbye for this uh, lunchtime chat? I don't see any other questions for now, but thank you again, Leanna, and uh, we will we will set up that meeting, and we wish you well with your surgery. All goes well. Your healing uh, healing thoughts and prayers to you, and thank you. guys, wave on out. We say see you back. See you till next time, everybody. Thanks. Bye.